In older versions of AutoCAD, we had the standard Windows menu strip options. In this version of AutoCAD, we can still get to it just in a different way. Let's go to the Quick Access Toolbar. Click on this flyout arrow, scroll down to Show Menu Bar. Now the standard Windows menu strip appears at the top of our screen. To hide it, just do the same thing. Click on the Menu Flyout button, scroll down to Hide Menu Bar and select it. From this menu, we can also customize the Quick Access Toolbar, so any tool that you see checked right now is accessible on the toolbar. We can check any other tool to make it available too. Just click anywhere else to auto-collapse. At the top of our workspace is what's called the Ribbon Bar, and this is the main area for accessing your AutoCAD commands. If you don't see the Ribbon Bar, you can click this toggle here. It cycles you through the different viewing options for the ribbon bar. Let's click the small triangle next to the toggle to see additional options. We can minimize the ribbon to panels or minimize to panel buttons. Right now we've got cycle through all selected. Most of the AutoCAD tools that you need to use for your work are available from the ribbon. If you right-click anywhere on the ribbon, you'll have the option to show tabs and show panels. To free up real estate on your ribbon, you can unselect panels that you currently don't want to use. The ribbon's organized into a number of different tabs. Each tab contains a number of different panels and each panel contains its own tool set. Now if you don't know what a tool does, you can just mouse over it and a tooltip will pop up. The extended tooltip flies out after a couple seconds.